we've always wanted to see our favorite team strive. But we've missed teams like the Seattle Supersonics. Yo, that team would have been crazy. But what about the Washington Bullets? I mean, I know that the Washington Wizards are an NBA team, but how much have they accomplished? They've had stars like Earl Monroe, Elvin Hayes. But we haven't seen any types of success, except for John Wall on the Wizards. Yo, Washington basketball? Eh, hasn't really been the best. But what if the Bullets came back and the Wizards had somebody to compete with for Washington. Let's find that because Washington basketball is back. So as you guys guessed, the Washington Billets will be making a return to Washington, D.C. So let me know if you guys are enjoying this series and if you guys like these uniforms. I actually, I actually really, really rock with them. But luckily, the Wizards will not be making their NBA expansion loan because along with them will be the Kansas City Knights. We have two new NBA teams to the NBA, and this should be lit. So as far as their expansion draft goes, this is going to be hard. The Bullets aren't sure if they want to win now or wait, and the, they don't even have the best players there. But with their first pick, they do go ahead and they decide to pick up Yusuf Nurkic, and then with their second, Brandon Jennings, the best out of the point guards who has a reasonable age. But at the end, this is the team that they decided to pick up. They got Festus Azili, Darren Williams. Kyle Korver, Jeff Green, Brandon Jennings, Yusuf, David Lee, Michael Beasley, not the best team, Ish Smith, yeah, this team is in for a long journey, but hopefully they can just get this thing through and come out with a top pick next year and pick up somebody like Lonzo Ball, Markel Fultz, Harry Giles, all those players like that, because this team right now, it's most definitely not ready to win any games. That said, we did have to go ahead and change up some of the management, even, this, even though this is a new team. They did hire a new GM, and yeah, they decided to pick up Kevin McHale, pretty much the person responsible for James Harden's success, and along with him, Elijah Nelson as the assistant coach. I mean, we were trying to find some former players. Unfortunately, there wasn't any there. There was none of the Tim Duncans, the Kobe Bryants. None of that. So the best player for us was Elijah Nelson. Yo, we're clearing house. We are preparing this team for as much success as possible. And we think that Kevin McHale can develop a young star into a superstar. And we especially plan on doing that after this coming offseason. So McHale does expect this team to struggle a lot. But we need new faces. And we just got to make sure that this team is just built for the future and just ready to win. So the first change of the new coaching staff is they want to pick up Lance Stevenson, recently cut by the New Orleans Pelicans, but Lance can provide this team with some defense and a little bit of offense. Then before the season even gets started, Coach McHale wants to see what this team can do, so he sends them to a scrimmage. Now with this scrimmage, there was a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. So with a young team like this, you really want to make sure at least your starters are good. Now, if you are, if you already have a contending team, you want your backups and starters to really be good. But if your team has suffered through an expansion draft like this, you want your starters to be able to pretty much dominate your backups with without any chance of them coming back. So here's Brandon James with the easy money shot right there, and the starters are up four to two, getting that easy block on the backup team coming up the court with Brandon Jennings. Taking it all the way to the right with Kyle Korver. Uh, that's what I don't want to see. But Jeff Green is going to... All right, what's going to do? What's going to do? He's going all the way into the paint and gets ripped. Like I said, y'all, this game had a lot of goods and a lot of negatives. That Jeff Green pulls up for the mid-range shot and takes the lead 8-2. to two. And Coach McHale is not really especially confident in this team, but he will be confident more next season when we... When we have our top draft pick, and this team is a little bit more developed, because this team is going to take a lot to rebuild. This team is definitely in the rebuilding process, and success, it's not going to come anytime soon. But at least we have some good wings, we have a solid point guard, and we have a young developing big man. So this is the team for season number one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go ahead and slap the like button for more of these videos, you guys. And yo, let me know what you guys think about this series. Uh, I know it doesn't have much facts to it. 
or it doesn't really make all that much sense but i just think that this is gonna be a fun series i really wanted to do an expansion draft and just build around a young college superstar from this coming draft so let me know what you guys think about it and like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time it's your boy legendary yay and i'm out peace y'all yeah. Hey, dollar might turn to a million, then